Aram here for Altenew. In today's video, I will be making a card based on Altenew's August Inspiration Challenge. I am using flowers from Magnolias for her and fillers or uh, the smaller flower bunches from Build a Flower Coral Charm. For the leaves, I am using Parrot Paradise. I have stamped these on watercolour paper and I will be using antique gold embossing powder to heat emboss these. My watercolouring technique today is wet on wet. For this I'll apply water to one petal, then I'll drop in some violet blue colour. I will spread this around just enough so there's some sort of transition between the two layers. After this I'll drop in another shade of blue colour. I think this is a Prussian blue. This is just to add interest so that the petals have a hue of both violet and turquoise. It looks really cool having the two tones on your uh, flower and then pops of green and orange. For the challenge graphic, I've used one of the projects I made earlier this year. I remember a few of you commenting on the color choice uh, of that card, so I thought I'd challenge you all to use it as well. The color palette might be a bit scary for some of you since it comprises of uh, such bold, vibrant colors, but you can choose uh, just two of these and play along or even use lighter shades. It's totally up to you. For the bunches of flowers, I'll use Spice Marmalade. That's my go-to orange for watercolor, combined with a bit of Rusty Hinch Distress Ink. I will also add a mix of the blue and violet colors on the smaller flowers. When I'm coloring the flower bunch and the leaves, I won't be very careful as to remain within the lines. You can watercolor these in the same manner. You really can't tell after fussy cutting or die cutting these pieces that your coloring is out of the line. I'll leave you with a bit of music. I'll be right back. Don't forget to turn on the closed captions so you'd know when I start talking. In case you are muting the music, that is. After I've painted all the floral elements, I'll make my background. For this, I'll apply lots and lots of water onto the panel and add shades of green. I won't be adding these colors in a clean color wash manner, but I'll be uh, super messy in adding these um, shades of green. I'll add different concentration of the same color. I'll also add splatters of different sizes. I'll keep drawing the layers and adding more layers over this messy watercolor background till I'm happy with the look. Just like before, I'll keep adding splatters of different green shades till I end up uh, with something super messy. After my background is dry, I'll add black paint splatters as well. I know it looks too much, it is too much, but uh, most of this uh, will get covered after I'm done with the floral arrangement. I'll arrange my flowers on different heights but uh, for the flower bunches and leaves, I'll just pinch these a bit to add uh, to the dimension and glue them directly onto the panel. After placing all the flowers and leaves, I'll pop up the sentiment label, which I have heat embossed in gold on black cardstock. This sentiment is from Heartfelt Sentiments stamp set. Alright, my card is complete. I hope you were inspired and will play along. The direct link to the challenge post is in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye.